Alrighty, so this is my Philodendron Scandens or Heartleaf in the Brazil variety. And what that means is that this is ver variegated and it has like this beautiful either light green or yellow green kind of shade to it. And we can do a close up of that. It just depends on the leaf. If you are new to variegated plants, um, just the background of variegated plants, they're technically mutated. And a lot of them until... I don't even know when really the fad because I just started a few years ago to really appreciate them because um, I always thought they were ugly. Um, they would just chuck them or like throw them out or because it, it's technically a mutation. So and it's unstable. What that means is that um, you could you could lose the variegation at any time um, and it's never going to be uniformed. I hope you enjoy my video and the rest of my video. You can hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. Everything that I'm using to water and everything, everything that I'm using with this particular plant will be down in the description section. So I just transplanted this today. This was propagating for about four to four to five months um, on top of a heat pad that was on 24 seven. And, and that will be in the description section as well. If you're curious, it never got any natural light, only um, LED plant light for at least 12 hours a day, sometimes depending on the day. Um, it can be longer. I don't uh, put use the timer option on it because I just don't want to. Um, so here she is. And because I let her, I didn't really transplant her. I should have transplanted her, but like a month or so ago and I didn't. When I tried to separate this because I wanted to fill my Brazil one, it had a little bit more room the root system was intense so i if i were to split them i actually broke one of them and that was that was a that was kind of painful i have to be very honest that was painful to, to experience <sighs> and i had to relive it by sharing it right here <laughs> so anyway um as you can see there's a little bit of damage here and this was one of the old leaves that i trimmed a node and if you could i don't Oh, you can't see it. But this, you know, she kind of grew new leaves. From my experience, it seems like philodendron kind of take forever to propagate. I mean, just from the top, I didn't really realize that the root system was growing so intensely. So, because, you know, if I don't see anything on the top, like any kind of um, new growth or a lot of new growth, I'm always kind of worried to transplant and put them in a more permanent um, pot because I don't want to disturb like a, a growing root system but um, in my personal experience from the environment I provided I think two to three months or two and a half two two and a half or three months whatever between two to three months would have been efficient or sufficient but um, I just didn't know so this was my first time propagating the Brazil and it took a while so here she is and again all of these most of these leaves unless they were the newer ones came from the mother plant and also were like from where I got her uh where she was before I got her like a nursery so they they were looking kind of sad and I just thought I'll just trim them out and propagate them and hopefully the newer ones are better and and it's true the newer ones are better because I take care of them better so here she Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Look at that. 90% is not green. Oh my God, it's just beautiful. And obviously this is a newer one. And how you can tell is it's shinier. Look, this one's shinier, the left versus the right. This is obviously an older one. And there is a new, no a, a new growth right there. And a cute little baby. Aww. <laughs> I love my plants. And this more, and oh my God, just look at that baby. And it's like all yellow green. I love it. Um, So here she is. And I will link down below what I used when she was still clipping. Um, currently she is scheduled for to be watered every seven days. That can change because I did just re transplant her. Um, I will provide everything that I use when she was still clipping. I will provide what I use today and what I will be using to water her from this point on until I will update this plant on my plant vlog. 
Um, she is currently sitting, I would say, I don't know, like five feet away from an east facing window and um, watered once a week. And she's in a six inch pot. I just used um, regular potting soil from Schultz. I did top her off on the top with earthworm castings. If you're new to earthworm castings, if you see some like white fuzz or mold on the top, that just means that the volume that you provided was a little too much for the plant to absorb. So when you see that, um, what I do usually is just flip it over or just mix it together and I lessen the volume that I provided from the last time I watered. And this is if the plant doesn't let you know that it's being overwatered. Um, you should be grateful for that because the earthworm castings is helping you by making sure that you know it's a little too much in regards to volume and it hasn't really damaged the plant yet. So that's a good thing. I actually love that part. Um, so if you're new to that, you know, that's what I typically do. I mean, you don't have to do that. Obviously, you can scrape it off. For me, it's a lot more work to scrape it off and... I don't want to waste it anyway, so that's what I do. I just mix it in, or I just flip it, or I add a little bit more to cover it, and it just goes away. And I just remember, oh, yeah, if I gave, let's just say an example, not this particular plant, but let's just say a different plant. I gave that, like, a cup the last time I watered. Next time, I'll just give it a three-quarter cup. That's just what I do. And I hope that can help someone out there. Um, So here she is. If you want to chit chat about propagation, philodendron, anything to do with this particular plant and what I did with it so far, let me know down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next update for this plant. Bye.